We're going to have one more reader, and then we're going to, we're going to take a short little break. But um, an intermission. But I want to thank you all for coming. Um, thanks for showing up. It's important to me to be a part of an event that gives other writers a uh, stage. And I'm sure it means a lot to them, too. So thank you. Stephanie Longo is a writer, editor, and translator from Scranton. An award-winning journalist, she is currently the editor of the Abington Suburban and has previously worked for Go Lackawanna and The Villager. She is the author of The Italians of Northeastern Pennsylvania and Dunmore, and her work has also appeared in, Cele in Celebrate Life magazine and Pennsylvania magazine. Please welcome Stephanie. Same woman that you will see on your way out here tonight. 
The reason why I came up with the Dunmore book was not only to celebrate the town of Dunmore, because I came to really love it through my municipal beat with them and really started to learn a lot, but also I wanted to give something back to the town of Dunmore. It was very important to me. History does not belong to me or to whoever writes it. History belongs to the people who live it, the people of the town. So I thought it would be a really great idea to do something in Dunmore in honor of Carol, because this monument is at her old nursing school, um, where the Genome Early Nursing <coughs> Center is now. It actually used to be the Scranton State Hospital School of Nursing. That's where she went to nursing school. So that's the reason why she's in Scranton and not in her hometown of Dunmore. They want to put it at her nursing school. So I thought, well, with the proceeds of the Dunmore book, we could do something. So my goal with the Dunmore book proceeds, I'm not taking a royalty on it. Instead, I'm giving all royalties to get Carol a Pennsylvania historic marker in Dunmore, right by the tank, which if any of you are from Dunmore or have passed Dunmore or have seen that tank, yeah. Carol grew up on Butler Street, and the tank, where it would be, is actually kind of like, Butler Street kind of looks out toward where this would be, so it's going to be literally right where she had her old stopping grounds. So it's something very, very important to me to get this done for her. As a journalist, as a historian, you don't do these things for you. You do it all for somebody else. It's a service-related career. And if you're in journalism and don't see it as a service career, you're probably in the wrong field to begin with. Um, that's just my take on it. But that's really what the book is, and that's why I did it. And you'll, if you do read it, you'll get to learn a lot about Dunmore, probably stuff that you had no idea actually happened there. I mean, some of the stuff that I learned while I was doing it, I was like, really? That's kind of... Wow, okay. <laughs> um, it's just a really, really great thing, and I'm just really proud to have been the person who got to write this, and I'm trying my absolute best to get Carol that PA historic marker, so if you know of anybody that might be interested in it, tell them to get it from me, because if they buy it from Borders, or, well, Borders is out of business, so they can't buy it from Borders anyway, but if they buy it from Barnes & Noble, or any of the other big bookstores, they take a cut out of the royalty. If they buy it from me, Every dime is going toward that PA historic marker. And if we can do this for her, it would mean the world to me. So that's really why I did this. So thank you all for your time. Thank you guys so much for having me today.